She is a James Beard nominated chef known for her farm to table philosophy. Also food and wine best new chef and top chef masters contestant. And right now she's inviting you over for brunch. She's also our friend. Chef Monica Pope is here with all the details and a seasonal recipe you can make at home. Always a treat to have you. Welcome back to the show. Good. Great to see you. So you love doing this kind of cooking with an audience, people coming in. I know, I remember back in the day, like, the with an audience? <laughs> you know, like when people are coming up and watching, you're giving them the information. It's, I've how... always said it's engagement. It's yeah. where I get the most engagement, yeah. And so inviting... And out of, out of the, the box of a restaurant or a kitchen, you're in the field, you're in my backyard, uh, we're cooking right in front of you. Um, it's super cool. No, it no, really is. No, and the brunch no, series... But... Sorry, go yeah. ahead. Uh, no mirrors, no smoke and mirrors and all that stuff. And, um, no television cameras like on Top Chef. But it is a very <laughs> yeah. personal, intimate thing to have people in your home. So, and this brunch series is super cool. You're inviting about 40 people every week to essentially experience not just a meal, but a whole experience. Yes, I am. So you, uh, people say my home. It is my home. It's also my cook shop. So I work downstairs. I live upstairs. Um, I've been there for over 25 years. When I did this in 2012, it was right before Sparrow was recon uh, Tapia was reconcepted to Sparrow. Um, and people would show up, I mean, it was crazy. It sold out in five minutes, all seven Sundays. Uh, but they just came and they're like, we wanted to see where you live. And then they see it and they're like, this is totally you. You know, it makes sense. And that was what I was looking for, uh, kind of connecting my kind of spiritual home, my real home, and my work. Um, so it's very special to me. And now this is my cook shop where I do interactive cooking classes and seated dinners and stuff like that, um, and pop-ups now. Um, and meals like this summer slaw. So yeah. you're a big fan, Monica, of farm to table, right? And you say to make a summer slaw. I think I created that farm to table before we had farms and tables <laughs> that, that Houston knew. Yeah, you know, no, you were definitely people one of the first. Were, people are like, we can grow food in Houston. It's like, yes, year round, you know. Uh, yeah, it's back in the day. Yeah. 27 years ago. Absolutely. So. We'll give you credit for that. Yeah. So let's talk about how, how to create this law then. You, you recommend going to a local farmer's market and choosing just a handful, like maybe three or four? So this is really, you know, I do a lot of, a lot of recipes and cooking classes and people are, can, they don't know what to buy at the farmer's market. They don't know how to cook it. They don't go to a farmer's market. And so this, the, there's a story behind the slaw, but um, so you start with cabbages, red and green, um, and then you go to the farmer's market and you find, three to five different colored hard um, vegetables, not soft. So something with a crunch. It has to, it. to have a crunch. It, it ha the color is great. And then the, that's the formula. And then you've got a, a, a spicy uh, pecan. You've got dried sour cherries. And nothing soft, you know, right. not, a, not a tomato. It's got to withstand or, the yeah. dressing. Well, it's slaw. You want this, yeah. kind, of, you want this kind of crunch. And, um, and the, I love that, too, that it's raw. Um, and I, I just have to tell people, just slaw it. And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, just slaw, <laughs> slaw. So just thinly uh, like sliced. Thin, like shaved that, yeah. or thinly sliced or whatever. Um, well, let's go ahead and put this together. So yeah. you've already chopped the vegetables. So I've already done that. Uh, let me just kind of... Yeah, you want to go in layers. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't want you to put this together. Okay, no. I, I, <laughs> there's, don't trust me. Courtney. There's a chef-y way to do this. Um, so you can see where I've got... A little bit of everything. I even have my salt here. And I noticed you're Don't not measuring me. anything. You're just sort of tossing no, no, it all no. together. Uh, no, when, when I would have my staff slaw, they would just like be just going, 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 and we'd mix it up and um, and then dress it to order. So this is a miso happy dressing. It's got a little ginger, sesame, uh, honey, local honey. And that's the other thing. I always tell people, if I can get three to five local things on a plate, uh, I'm a rock star. I told that to Jay-Z, but... I said, I'm a rap star. <laughs> We're super tight on time, so go ahead and dress yeah, that. Yeah. You did, by the way, have the miso dressing recipe up there on yeah. the screen. You toss it all together with those hands there. I know you're not shy. <laughs> and by the way, if you want to check out Monica's brunch series, you can find her on Instagram. She's even doing At a Chef Monica away. Pope. Uh, there's a few other Monica Popes out there. All right. Awesome. We got to leave it there. Monica Pope, great in. to see you. Looks delicious. We'll be right back.